Trump's war of words against former acting director of the FBI Andrew McCabe continued this morning with another pathetic, irate Twitter outburst. The president is incensed about a 60 Minutes interview with McCabe that came out over the weekend in which, amongst other things, he revealed that Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein entertained the idea of using the 25th Amendment to remove Trump from office, so convinced was he of the threat the president posed to the United States. On top of that, McCabe revealed a chilling incident in which the president refused to believe the American intelligence community when they warned him about the threat of North Korean nuclear missiles because, of all things, Vladimir Putin told Trump that the weapons could not reach the United States. Of course, since it's Donald Trump, his attacks against McCabe aren't coming in the form of substantive or credible rebukes of the former acting director's bombshell claims. Instead, Trump is relying on personal insults and conspiracy theory peddling. No w. For some reason, Trump has zeroed in on McCabe's previous claim that he insulted McCabe's wife during a phone call with the former acting director, referring to her as a loser after she lost a state Senate bid. McCabe reiterated the claim during 60 Minutes. I in his morning tweet, Trump claimed that he never said anything bad about McCabe's wife before immediately repeating his slanderous conspiracy theory that her state Senate campaign corruptly took contributions from Hillary Clinton as the FBI was investigating her over her emails. Trump's obvious implication was that McCabe undermined the investigation to get money for his wife's political aspirations. In reality, McCabe recused himself from the Clinton investigation once he was promoted to deputy director, erasing any legitimate argument that there was some kind of untoward quid pro quo at play. As usual, this is Trump spewing lies he knows his delusional supporters will lap up without question. Trump went on to insist that he never called McCabe's wife a loser and that McCabe is lying. The fact that he thinks that any reasonable person would believe him, perhaps the most dishonest president in American history, over a lifelong public servant with a sterling reputation is quite frankly laughable. The simplest and most likely case is that Trump did call McCabe's wife a loser and has now decided to lie about it like he lies about basically everything. Cowardly and disgraceful.